Right, I am now going to demonstrate the need for flight control software. Uh, I now have four rotors, which is great, um, but uh, I've already damaged um, uh, two of the rotors to by attempting a manual lift off on the floor earlier, um, and it just sort of flew across the floor and slammed into the door. So, um, and so yeah, I'm just cracked one of the propellers here, but that's all right. I'll just order some more. Um, yeah, but I have everything I need now. So um, we have ultrasonic sensors, which I'll be equipping it with um, later on in the process to give it um, collision avoidance, things like that. But before we get there, we need a stable flight. Um, and I have what I need now for this. Um, and what we have here um, is what's called an inertial measurement unit. And that has a gyroscope, um, accelerometer and compass. And um, yeah, so that's what's connected to these, connected to the SDA and SDL clock lines. It uses the, um, well, it's what's called the I squared C bus for the, um, on the Arduino. I think, from what I understand, it's a, it's a very generic protocol used by, used by devices like this. Um, so yeah, that's all hooked up and working, but I haven't um, uh, got it to the point where it's interpreting those values and controlling the engines by itself but at the moment I'm still controlling the, the engines the rotors by itself um, so at the moment I've still uh, got it on remote control using infrared and I'm going to try and take it off manually by controlling the um, uh, the speed of all four rotors and you'll see how impossible it is so yeah let's um, give this a try shall we this time I've, I've programmed the remote so that um, uh, these, these two, that is for that propeller, this is for this propeller here, and I've got these two buttons up here controlling the other two. Uh, I mean, using a remote control is not great anyway, I haven't got a proper, um, you know, remote control unit, but let's just see what happens, shall we? Okay, just get that throttle... Oh yeah, um, actually let's just turn off because what I've um, also um, forgot to mention is that I now have got it on bungee cords so that it's um, attached to a heavy object so if it tries to take off it's not going anywhere and um, it's also on the bed so that um, if it tries to... Um, if the propellers slam into anything, it's not going to destroy the propellers or me in the process, which is a good thing. Right, so let's give this a go. Okay, so let's start with you. Now you. Come on. Oh. Okay, now let's try you over there. Now you. Okay, so Okay, so I had to shut it down there, it was uh, getting out of control, so let's try that again. It's a good thing I've got it on the bed, huh? Right. Let's go for you.
here. Now you. You. <laughs> yeah, so you can see how impossible it is to um, to control. Hence the need for a flight control software. So let's just go and switch off now. Um, and also to avoid damaging itself, I've got got it on the bed. But what I'm hoping for is once the um, flight control software is working, I'm hoping just just to get it to take off and just hover. You know, like that. If you can do that, then I'm willing to trust it, um, and I won't have to uh, tie it down like it is at the moment. So, yeah, um, now the challenging part begins: flight control. <laughs> 